guys welcome to gusto reactions once again thank you so much for always liking and sharing subscribing telling your friends about what we do right here at gusto tv thank you so much you guys are the realest mvps and of course you know what we are all about right now you know how we do you know what time is it right now it's a better time fans are loving the new album by obio davido and everyone picking their favorite from the album from joe to holy ground to uh um, very special to maybe to very special maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and i've got lala in the building yeah. lala davido is finally out with his third studio album mm -hmm. that won a better time yeah i mean a lot of fans are talking about the album the comparison have started already people picking their favorite and everyone just getting hyped about that body of work mm -hmm. right now 17 major tracks all yes some we say bangers some say nah it's just there and all of that mm -hmm. Lala, you've listened to the album what are your thoughts on the album is it a hit or a miss for you hmm, okay don't, don't let me answer that question <laughs> <laughs> let me do watch the end of the video okay so my thoughts on the album <laughs> yes um um I mean, my expect I didn't expect so much, right? Yeah. I, I mean, if you, if you watch past videos, yes, you would see that. I mean, for example, the track with Nicki Minaj, I already had low expectations of the track with Chris yeah. Brown. I already had low expectations because I didn't know what to expect. So then the what's it called came out. The yes. songs came out. Holy Ground. Yeah. Holy Ground, for example, sounds totally. I mean, that's why it's good to listen to the the, the best quality of of, of songs, yeah. regardless if you heard the snippet somewhere. And by the time I heard the full track and everything sounded right, like mm -hmm. I, I won't lie, I was impressed. I was impressed with Nicki Minaj. It wasn't just the Nicki come and drop a verse. Mm -hmm. It was Nicki being involved from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Started the track, did the hook, did the verse, even did the outro. So everything about that track was, was, was out good. Nigeria. Shout out to Nigeria. <laughs> and it was intentional. Like it wasn't just Nicki just drop any verse. Mm -hmm. It was intentional yeah, what they wanted to do with uh, with verses, uh, with Nas as well. <laughs> I mean that's all that's all is just it's surprising, right? It's surprising because you see some sort of David vibe you've not seen before. Mm -hmm. Like you know when someone's trying to sing R and B, we know he's he is a is a decent singer. Mm -hmm. We know. He has a, a decent voice. But then you see the kinda height he was trying to pull on, mm -hmm. on that song. Did like pull it off? He had a good attempt. I'll say he had a good attempt. Okay. So it was surprising. <laughs> I mean, I like the experimentation of the album. He, he tried different sounds. He balanced it well. He didn't really go. I mean, this is not a shot to anybody now. He didn't really go and um, try to sound a certain way for a certain audience. Yeah. He kept to his roots, which is uh, I mean, the album is Afrocentric. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I'm about. I'm not about someone who is trying to. I mean, keep to your style and then let the world align. That's that's what I feel. So I think the video did well on this album. Mm -hmm. um, so what came through on Tanana as well? Uh, Tanana, mm -hmm. in as much as you want to say some of the lyrics were basic mm -hmm. uh, for Tanana, mm -hmm. yes, uh, Tiwa did come correct. Like I'm like, why didn't you get this one? <laughs> okay. These are tracks from Cecilia. <laughs> but then you can't come correct every time. Yeah? So, but then this is that song is perhaps me for me the best. I mean, performance of Tiwa on the video track. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the second time they they did on Oli as well. Mm -hmm. So, I think overall. Um, the tracks he did individually, mm -hmm. I, I for one love a lo uh, some songs he did in individually. Okay. He started well with Joe Joe Wall. Wall. Amazing, right? <laughs> Joe Wall, very special. Uh, those, those songs are just, I mean, I, I like them. Mm -hmm. I gave him a benchmark of having at least 10 tracks mm -hmm. that, that bang out of 17. Mm -hmm. And I think so far, I think I like 9. So now, on very special, yeah. you know, um, you, could, you could feel that someone wrote that song i mean someone quite familiar yeah. wrote that song because it sounds so i got it thing bang bang, <laughs> thing bang, bang, thing that, bang that was actually very special yes yes very so special. the thing okay that's the criticism of the video generally yeah, yeah. that's my criticism of the video generally um when he when people write for him mm. like apart from writing for him he like it follows their sound he right? follows their sound so when you hear i mean when i hear very special for i'm like Nah, this sounds like me. Do you think they write it or they would have even sang it? Because no. if they sing it, <laughs> yeah. it's very hard for him to change the tempo it's of they, the song. They, let me say, they have, they've sung it. Um, <laughs> from from uh, past um, records, like yes. for example, the um, So Crazy song. Mm. We've seen the video perform, I mean, Peruzzi. Uh, a video no. performing that and it wasn't it's not the first time this mm. has happened with with david you know if there was a, a ready-made version by mm -hmm. um techno mm -hmm. 
we don't we haven't heard it but based on what he has said Techno already made the song yes. and he just kind of just the video is special like that he makes what other people have sung when he sings his own version it sounds better mm-hmm. so on on a, a better time i was able to deduce some songs that even without looking at the credits <laughs> you know that this song is this person's song i mean yeah. very special you could tell that's me mm-hmm. the songs that Pelosi sounded like Pelosi, you would yeah. know yeah. and then by the time you're checking the credit you will just confirm your suspicion so yeah. that's the only i mean if i didn't have the ears to lis- uh, listen to what people sounded like yeah if I was just a neutral music loving, I wouldn't notice. Wouldn't know, yeah. So yes, it's not it's not like it's a bad thing, but that's my criticism mm-hmm. of Davido. When he tends to, to use songwriters, mm-hmm. he tends to sound like those songwriters. Lala, did Belashmada impress you on Fade? Did not impress me? Well, I, the, the kind of track that I eventually was was mm-hmm. uh, Belashmada's uh, core. Remember I told you about that interview, I said he mm-hmm. makes inspirational music. Yeah. And that was the core of that song. So Belashwana did well. He's not his best feature this year mm-hmm. because we've seen two massive features from uh, Belashwana. So, but it's still it's still a good track. I like it as well. Okay, so like the standalone songs for yeah. you, mm-hmm. uh, which would you say is your top pick? The top pick. I think uh, everyone seems to be hyped about Joel right Joel, now. Yeah. It's a good track, but uh, very special is very special to me. <laughs> and there's a reason very special is very special to me. Mm. It sounds like Mehdi, we know Mehdi already uh, co-wrote that, but then yeah. very special is very special to me because I'm dedicating it to someone today to do today. Ah, you see. <laughs> now, someone actually talked about the fact that the best, yeah. you know, before it came out, mm-hmm. and of course, David O, that one track, uh, Seven, yeah. on the album saying the best. that's going to be the best mm-hmm. David O collaboration. Now, the album is out, the yeah. track is out. Mm-hmm. Is that the best David O? And Meokun has ever done before. Okay, uh, the person saying that was probably just no. Meokun no, manager Sam. Yeah, the best, he's saying that it was just trying to, to hype? no, not hype. If you think about it, mm. the title of the song is called the best. The best, okay. So he said the best Meokun collaboration is on the video's album. Mm. So he was just maybe I'll call it wordplay. Ah, it didn't, it didn't ah, literally mean the best the song. Or the best yeah, ever. yeah. I mean, we've seen Betty Butter. We've seen uh, was it Bobo? Yeah, yeah. Bobo. So. Yeah. Yes, it's a good track, but it's not the best between Mayoko and the video. Okay, South Soul came through on that one on hmm. my way. Yeah, so South Soul. <laughs> it seems okay now. There's a certain way um, Nigerian artists sound when they feature South Soul, hmm. and that's exactly what we got on yeah. on that track. It's not a bad track. Um, South Soul already, like we said, those guys are partly Nigerian already. Mm-hmm. Short videos in Nigeria featured countless Nigerian, Nigerian artists. artists. Yeah. So yes, he has that. Um, vibe from South Africa, from what Kenya, right? From Kenya, too. yeah. So was the video more of Kenyan? The vibe, the lyrics that he was were, were more of Nigerian. The lyrics, the lyrics of it, like mm. it, it was, it wasn't English, it was but yeah. it, it wasn't a Nigerian language. Mm-hmm. So he started, but he had good melody, and that that's what made the track. Yeah. Mm. What do you think about Shuma uh, you know performance on that one? I got I, a friend. I'm a piano way. I'm a piano <laughs> <way>. <laughs> so. Um, well, I'm not really big on my piano, but the song sounded like what my piano should sound like. So I wouldn't fault it because I don't. I mean, okay, on the track as well. Yeah, me okay. I mean, the, the beginning of the song was crazy. Uh, actually, before I when I listened to the track, I didn't really pay attention. But then when I saw Shuma uh, Shuma Josie's yeah, tweet, yeah. Yeah. she was like, "I want I want to introduce you to a few of my friends," and she put "Gay Gay." <laughs> my mind just went to like, "Okay, this is the beginning of this track." Now. So, <laughs> The song is a vibe. They tried. It, it is a vibe. Actually. Yeah, they it tried. Is a vibe. Yeah. Okay, so um, David O went to Ghana and of course picked just one half of the out to these guys, mm-hmm. which is on that one. Maybe. Maybe. And CK has walked him through mm-hmm. on the Lala. That one. Maybe. Not your Lala. <laughs> <laughs> Lala. 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 Yeah. Lala. Yeah. Lala. So what do you think about those songs? Maybe it was the least enjoyable for me. Uh, really? Yeah, it was. The, I mean, if I went to rank on the songs of the album, maybe it would probably come last. <laughs> I didn't really feel maybe. I mean, the song, the album had 17 tracks, mm. and we already had two. Mm. So obviously, I mean, the ones I hold daily, uh, the ones I've mentioned initially, mm-hmm. even the Lala, Lala sounds good. It sounds nice. I mean, the, I know it's, we know that for a fact. CK wrote the song. Mm. I mean, majority of the songs that he featured people on. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But then I have a problem with some of those things because on Fem, mm. he says they video wrote it. Uh, uh, the real FM. How? <laughs> you can tell the real no FM. But it says the real wrote like Sunlight. Like. No, it's. Tell in Abba. You don't even have to ask me. We already established the fact that Governor of Africa song, Cincinnati, yeah. came out back in what? 
Telugu say she likes Bazi. And he said Telugu say she likes Bazi. Like and and then, then on Femme, Femme. but we know Femme was recorded <laughs> with me according to yeah, Davido. Yeah. So uh, we recorded around the same period. Yeah. So yeah, they said Davido, but we know it's Peruzzi. <laughs> uh, Lala song not bad. Give yeah. me, give me um, CK. Give me a vibe of Fiber DML on that on that song. Not bad. I mean, good for CK. It's getting international exposure with this feature on the album. Okay. So I used to convince that So Crazy is a good song. No, I've always said So Crazy is this. I didn't think So Crazy was a bad song. Okay. When we did So Crazy, um, hit or miss, hit or miss yeah. I said the reaction that follows was surprising. Also, the fact that Lil Baby came out to say. Well, stylist to come out to say he got paid hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah. So those are the things that might leave a sour taste in people's mouth and say, "Why would you pay?" And is and it's not that he said it's not even one of the best songs on the album. On the album. But it's a decent track, not bad. Okay. So looking at the album, yeah. in its entirety and everything, seventeen major tracks. I, you know, and a couple of other people actually have some, you know, I've seen tweets about, oh, the album should have been shorter. If it was shorter, mm-hmm. maybe it would have, been, you know, been a more classic album okay now ideally what how many tracks would we have you know expected or would you have wanted on that uh, you, you know the thing with, with these things okay fine he said he had i mean he recorded majority of the songs in lagos yeah, he yeah, had yeah. so many songs and he had so many features he had what 11 features 11 features if you had the one just throw, throw everything out you can't release an album with 11 features and yeah. 11 tracks and 11 features yeah. so he had to do some standalone tracks yeah. so um Yes, people have a, they have a, uh, what's it called? They are correct when they mean, and when they say things like it should have been shorter so that he can put the best of the best. Yes, yeah. But the best of the best is still subjective because you can decide to put five or four of the f- tracks I don't like on that album, and now f- four out of ten or eleven that's left with seven. I'm like, okay, this is not, f- this is mm-hmm. not for me. But at the end of the day, it was able to my own understanding. I mean, what I like, nine tracks from that album. Uh, tracks I would play again and again. Okay. The rest, not like they're bad, but once in a while I might jam them. But nine that I know that yes, anytime this comes up, I'm ready to sing along to. Did, so did yes. You don't need a Chris Brown again. Did you need a Chris Brown? Did you need a Chris Brown again? <laughs> <laughs> I think if you are just full blown right now, the album. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we would, we would, nobody would fault him because it's not the first time we have put old songs on an album. Mm. A good time had songs from two years before, yeah. so you should have just full blown my mind. Boost your numbers. Nobody, <laughs> you've done it before. Nobody said anything. I mean, mm. people say, but you turn the blind eye. Mm. That's what blew my mind. So you don't think Shopping Spree is a hit? I don't think Shopping Spree is a hit. Nah. In terms of international collaboration on, yeah, that album, on that album, I think Holy Ground was even the best international collaboration on the album. Yeah. Okay, finally, before we go, will Peruzzi have made this album a better one if he was on it? No, it won't because we only got Peruzzi 2.2 <laughs> <laughs> on this one. On this one, so we didn't need per- original Peruzzi. Per- original Peruzzi has already done the work of songwriting, so we didn't hear his input again. You know, if, if we eventually get a Davido and a mm. and a uh, what's it called uh, Peruzzi track, mm. it would sound like Davido would sound like Peruzzi. Peruzzi sound like Davido. Okay, so this album is a miss for you or hit? So, <laughs> I want to shock uh, our. Our, our, our <laughs> FC. Okay. So you, you, you guys are uh, dropping comments and saying it's floppy. This something. Nah, this album is far from being a flop. Okay. It's a hit. They no, didn't try. It's a, there's there's hit. There's super hit. There's hit. There's mid hit. Now you should be. Now you probably should ask me. It's it's a hit album. It's not a miss for you. It's not a miss. Far from okay. miss. Like I mean, people who are listening to the leaked album who have come out say. Is the worst album, blah blah blah. Mm. It's far from it, far okay. from it. If you open your mind, if you're being objective, mm. it's a good album, very Niger centric. Mm. Yeah, it stuck to its core. Oh, so let's rank it over 17 actually. I'm not going to say over 10 right now. Over 17, we have 17 tracks on the album. Yeah. So let's, let's rank over 17. One to right. 17. I would, I would, I would want to rank over 17. When, when we did your album, <laughs> the the this boy boy had uh, ten tracks on his album when I when I rated over ten. Okay, so you want to do over ten, right? Yes. Okay, Lady Lagos also had what? By all means, please. Right. I want to rank. She will roll the in better time. <laughs> Some of you are going to be disappointed because obviously it's, it's higher than Lady Lagos. Oh, for real? My my rating okay. for Lady Lagos was six and a half. Six and a half, yes. So a better time for me, seven and a half over ten. Seven and a half over ten. Yeah. You don't think you're being too generous? I don't think I'm being generous because my criticism of Made in Lagos, I mean if I mean if 
they know I was listening. Mm. If I was the one that made the decision of which album is good or which is bad and blah blah blah, mm. it was exactly what I wanted. Mm-hmm. An Afrocentric album that didn't even play to the international audience. Oh, it wasn't it's begging it's for an international okay. thing. Okay. Even when he featured international artists, was still, is he, maintained? he still maintained. I mean, his his locality. I mean, the way he sounds generally. Mm-hmm. Even when he tried other sounds, he was still decent at it. Case in point, the track with Nas. Shout out to the video. Okay, shout out to David O on that particular one, Birthday Cake, Nas, It Boy, David O, a better time album. Out right now, guys, go get that album, stream on all platforms. Support Nigeria Music, Made in Lagos is out also. Mm-hmm. A better time, trust us. So, to what's have it, Celia is still very much out. I mean, that talent that actually, I think, got more people to say, you know what, let's go and check, check out that album again. I want to see why it was Do you understand? <laughs> like, Oh, it's about Mama Jam Jam busting brain mm-hmm. on that one. Guys, it's just the consistency, thing. yeah. Yes, about this one, if better time, is it a hit or a miss for you? Of course, we write it to reply to every one of you. Please keep streaming, keep supporting our drama. FC, take Apple it easy. <laughs> to the world. Whiskey the FC, the video FC, take it whatever easy. FC, please take it easy in the comment section. Of course, <laughs> we love you right here. And of course, we don't want no fighting at all. See you on the next one. Peace.